Uh, so yesterday I went, uh, I was at the dentist. I had my uh, cleaning done yesterday. You have a very pretty See, smile so today. Gleaming over here, right? Yeah. So I, uh, as I was sitting there, I had an epiphany. I had an epiphany about the Wait, uh, the dentist. Let me before. Okay, I've been to the dentist many times, and I'm on the laughing gas, and I have lots of epiphanies. And <laughs> no, then no, when no. I come down, I'm like, nah, no, not, not so is, much. This is not laughing gas induced. I oh, was, I was completely, uh, completely in my sound mind. Okay, so. As you know, usually when you go to the dentist, one of the annoying, most annoying things they do is they talk to you while you're they're doing your teeth, mm-hmm. and they'll ask you questions, and it's like, oh, I can't escape this person yammering and yammering away. It's annoying, right? So wouldn't this be so great if they just leave me alone, just do their thing, and you know, because I, I can't, I can't you talk. Are so not a people person. Well, <laughs> but here's the thing. What's the thing? So yesterday, my hygienist I had yesterday. I don't know if she was having a rough day or if she was just tired or what it was. She was stone cold silent the entire time I got my teeth done. It was torture. I was even worse than people talking to you while you're getting your teeth done because it took so damn long because there was nothing to distract me. So it was just me in complete silence with the hygienist and it felt like it took like an hour. So there has to be some sort of way to get you through the process without annoying Chit chat from somebody. Hmm. So I was thinking, I was racking my brain, and here's what I came up with. They should hand you a survey, right? And they should have this attached to your file when you when you're at the dentist. Like so when the first time you go and you're filling you out go, the medical you, yeah. stuff. Ask question. Do you like to be talked to while you're getting your teeth cleaned? What are some topics you like to, to discuss? So you have like a little bio so the the hygienist can quickly read through that, like, oh, this person is into whatever. Here's some facts about them, and then and then you can uh, they can either yammer away or they'd be like, no, I don't want to talk about anything. Okay, but wait for real, for real. It's not bad enough that the hygienist has to put their hands in your mouth, but now they have to do research and study before you come in for your cleaning. Well, it's part of the job. I think that's part of the job <laughs> is make you're the customer, right? Don't you want to make the customer feel satisfied? Isn't that the whole uh, idea? Uh, you you go you leave there you look in the mirror you smile you're satisfied. Well, I wasn't satisfied because it was torture yesterday because I'm sitting there in complete silence. It was weird. Oh my goodness! It was like it was deafening. At least maybe install a TV. Oh, put a, oh put a my TV in has there. TVs. No, my dentist doesn't have a really? TV. Really? No, they play some really like terrible light rock the whole time. So not only did I have no conversation. Phil Collins was playing the whole time, Oh, which, you know, just drives me batty. So I'm like, oh, my God. So I'm stuck in my own head. Can you head. imagine if you were getting something really awful, like having a tooth pulled and you had to listen uh, to Phil right? Collins? I oh, mean, my God. So fill out the survey. What kind of music do you like? Would you rather listen to music? You know, we'll play some music for you. What are some of your favorite TV shows? They can have the TV go in there. What are your favorite? Well, what's, or what's your favorite show? Do you like Home and Garden? Do you like news? Do you like sports? You know, and then they could ju- like. How hard is that to do? Oh, and you have a little, you have a little. It's like okay, this person enjoys this activity while they're getting their teeth done. I'll turn the TV on to Fox News. How about you go in? They put the TV in. You go in there and they hand you a remote. How about that? They could do that too. Yeah. That's fine. Well, then they don't have fine. to do the research. So there must be something better than just to leaving it up to the whim. Of whoever the hygienist is to, well, all right, I'm going to talk to them about my grandchildren the whole time. Who wants to hear that? Maybe some people do, some people don't, but you have no choice. You're stuck in the chair. Or, you know, silence. Like, you know, it's completely up to their whim as to how you're entertained for that, you know, time. But you're I think you should dentist. have a choice. I don't know if entertaining you is their goal. Well, then, then they're, that's a terrible business model because they're offering a service. If I was a, de- I'm just saying, if I was a dentist, if I okay. was a dentist and I was running the office, I would totally embrace this idea and be like, you know what? I want my customers to be happy. I so, bet if your so dentist come up was with a an morning, entertainment option. If your dentist was a morning show host, he'd have he'd had a few ideas for you too. He's probably like, you know what? If I had a morning show, I don't think I would talk about my dentist appointment. You don't think I get those emails <laughs> yeah. every day, Robin? <laughs>